Hey there Libra, this is Renee and welcome back. Uh, if you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Um, you're safe here, of course. Um, but Libra, as I was meditating on your energy, I was getting a lot of full energy. So I feel like there's some kind of new beginning. There's some kind of leap of faith that you'll be taking. There's some kind of adventure that is unfolding around you. Some kind of need to pursue something um, that you're destined to pursue without knowing exactly the path that you'll be taking. Spirit just wants you to take the first step, to take the action, to make that first move. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at the tarot. Let's see what else comes out let's see what messages come out for libra okay we have wow what a card to start with beautiful the ten of pentacles the king of pentacles the knight of pentacles wow lots of pentacles here here libra um the page of swords and the three of swords and the five of swords okay so we have the judgment at the bottom so i feel like there's some kind of renewed time here i feel like there's going to be support coming your way there's something that's moving you out of your comfort zone that's moving you into this new um this new space this new place you know it's moving you into you know, doing something that you may be pursuing, but, you know, not having full faith in what you're doing, but also doing it anyway. Okay. Uh, I feel like spirit is letting you know that you have support to try something new to, you know, put that idea into action. Okay. Move out of your comfort zone and just get moving, you know, be enlightened, be aware gain that wisdom and that clarity because i feel like it's coming um there's something that's being shared to you some kind of knowledge some kind of generous gift that's going to create some kind of situation that's very balanced um i feel like someone is being very generous to you okay um let's get into this okay with the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. Wow. Okay, this is abundance. This is stability. This is, you know, gaining your ground. Um, with all these Pentacles here, this may have to do with some kind of um, job venture, some kind of career, some kind of financial situation. But I feel like things are very much improving. Things are getting better. You know, you have what you need. You have what you want. You have abundance. You know, you have generational wealth. There may be some kind of situation coming in here where you're, go you're going to receive some kind of inheritance, some kind of dream job. There's definitely good news. Good news is on the way. You know, you're going to receive that good news very shortly. Um, and I feel like whatever this is, it's helping you to be very curious. It's helping you to be very aware of the people around you. Because I feel like, you know, you may have had your heart broken in the past. Because this is the after tarot. This has already happened. So I feel like, you know, you were heartbroken and you were kind of reevaluating the people around you, reevaluating your situation, okay? But you're actually now going through healing. You're going through healing, but there's still a struggle. There's still something that you're struggling with. There's still kind of a conflict that may be surrounding you, something that you may have to really deal with and put to rest okay so look at this we have pinnacles here on top and we have swords here on the bottom okay so libra the swords can represent you swords are thoughts and um into intellect 
okay and those are air signs so libra these swords could represent your energy the pentacles could represent an earth sign maybe a uh, capricorn uh, taurus or virgo okay so you may want to take a look at the virgo reading um that i did i haven't well i have done taurus so you may want to take a look at virgo or taurus i still need to do capricorn so that's in the future okay but there's something that's happening that's pushing you forward that's pushing you into abundance and i think that it's because of where you are coming from you know how they say you know once you gain wealth you forget where you came from and i don't think that's the case for you um libra i feel like you know when you gain wealth i feel like you totally remember where you came from and you totally support the people who you know were down for you when you were at your lowest point okay and i feel like you know this abundance is coming through for you it's making you totally aware of the people who are down for you and who's not down for you that's the reason why you are reevaluating your situation and the people around you okay let's get some clarifying cards for this reading okay for the ten of pentacles we have the seven of cups for the uh, King of Pentacles, we have the Hierophants. For the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Swords. For the Page of Swords, we have the Knight of Pentacles. For the Four of Swords, we have the Four of Pentacles. And for the Five of Swords, we have the Justice card. Okay, so we have balance. We have a cycle ending and a new one beginning. I feel like you learned the lessons that you needed to learn in your situation, Libra. And I feel like it's pushing you to this new cycle. There's this new beginning, this new venture. Maybe that's the reason why I was feeling that full card. Because you're running through a cycle. You have completed a cycle. And now you have this new beginning. This new cycle is starting to unfold. Okay, um, we also have the uh, Five of Swords and the Moon card. So I feel like conflicts and struggles are now being revealed to you. I feel like, you know, you're, you're finally understanding the reason why you have gone through so many challenges, so many struggles in the past, because it was leading you to this destined place. Okay, with the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Seven of Cups, the King of Pentacles, we have the Hierophant, and with the Knight of Pentacles, we have the um, Knight of Swords. So I feel like there's a lot of opportunities coming your way, Libra, and I feel like there's a choice that needs to be made. You need to choose one of these opportunities one of these ideas one of these concepts and i feel like you know you need to train yourself up to become this more intelligent more spiritual person okay so i feel like there's some kind of you know homework that you need to do i don't know why i said homework but i feel like there's some sort of homework you need to do maybe there's um, schooling that you're thinking about going back to and you need to choose the courses that you need to take or you know the, the there's there's something to do with choosing to learn a certain idea okay so I feel like you know you are moving forward with these new ideas and these options that you're taking today are going to lead to new ideas and thoughts tomorrow. Okay? And they're going to be something that you're going to pursue later. Okay? So I feel like there's a very good possibility that you may be going back to school to increase your income, to increase your wealth, your abundance, your intellect. You know, I feel like, you know, with this 
with this page of swords knight of pentacles i feel like you know there's something that you're very curious about but you feel like something holds a lot of great value there's an offer on the table that's going to bring you more value okay you may be pursuing a new career a new job and i feel like this offer is coming forward for you there's an offer on the table that you need to either deny or accept okay and i feel like you know now as far as this healing goes i feel like you're becoming more stable things are working better and i feel like you're more capable of protecting yourself from this lesson that you learned from the past okay i feel like you know you've gone through the healing and now you're protecting yourself so that you don't have to go through that again okay you you're destined on creating something different i feel like with this five of swords energy in this justice card some kind of conflict in the past some kind of struggle that you went through you're gaining balance on that something is turning in your favor some some kind of karma is coming back in your favor okay someone's getting their karma for hurting you someone's getting their karma for doing you wrong for you know breadcrumbing you or not giving you exactly what you needed at that moment you know there's someone who did you wrong that they're getting their karma now they're seeing exactly how you felt okay because now they're in that same position so it's very interesting libra it's very interesting okay let's get an outcome for libra please give me a message for libra what's an outcome for this reading please wow okay okay we have the three of swords again we have the magician and we have the five of pentacles okay at the bottom we have the world again changes so this is lessons this is lessons you've learned you know this is the second time this world card has come out in this reading so i feel like you're definitely going into a new cycle you're starting something over this is a new beginning you're no longer going back to that heartbreak to that struggle to feeling uh, inadequate or not enough okay um i feel like you know you have totally learned from these past mistakes and now you're creating something brand new you're bringing a different manifestation down to life you're creating something that is going to bring you out of being left out you know you're no longer feeling like you're left out in the cold you're no longer feeling like you're unappreciated or unwanted or feeling excuse me like you don't have enough okay you're coming out of that feeling because you're manifesting something different okay you're manifesting something totally different okay let's get some more clarification for this i need to know more tell me more about this why is this three of swords magician five of pentacles here okay we have the four of swords and the sun card okay i get it i get it okay the reason why we have these here is because you need to focus more on yourself you need to focus more on your healing on being rejuvenized on um, making healthy choices in order to be happy in order to be stable in order to bring in your abundance okay so i feel like spirit is letting you know you know don't focus on the past don't focus on things that hurt you in the past focus on fixing and healing yourself in the situation because once you focus on yourself you know that you are the only one that can bring yourself happiness okay and i feel like focusing on you is bringing you happiness it's bringing you abundance 
okay so there's very beautiful energy i feel like that's what you're creating you're creating a sense of you know feeling more confident in the skin that you're in okay being more confident in who you are and what you're capable of okay so let's go ahead and get some monology cards libra um, let's get some monology cards for libra and uh, see what's going on see we have work through your fears new moon and scorpio so definitely and i feel like this reading tells it all work through your fear fears work through those past pains you know and we have it's time to take action so spirit is letting you know it's time to take action in your situation make the first move you know Go ahead and work on that healing. Work on that new beginning that you're focusing on. You know, don't sit back and let things pass you by. Um, be focused. Okay, let's get a uh, manifestation moonology. Okay, what do we have for Libra? Okay, this one wants to come out. Okay, we have Know Your Worth, New Moon and Taurus. Definitely, Libra. I love that. Know Your Worth. You are priceless. Okay, and we have New Moon and Aquarius. Open up to change. Yeah, knowing your worth and being open to change is the only way your situation is going to improve. Okay, at the bottom we have New Moon and Scorpio. Go deeper. So you may need to like refocus, meditate, um, you know, really focus on your healing in order to bring things to life. But I feel like you're actively manifesting your happiness. You're actively manifesting something better. Okay, let's get an angel card for Libra. What do we have for Libra? Okay, this one. Okay, we have it's up to you. Definitely. It's up to you to make these changes. And the situation will improve. That's right. Beautiful. There's something better. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, my gosh. Beautiful. Beautiful reading. Okay. Libra, we're going to go ahead now and take an angel number and see what the angels have in store for you. Um, your angel number, and I'm sorry for that phone, it's steady going off, I need to turn it off. Okay, let's get you an angel number. Okay, we have 1515, creativity. Okay, so keep assessing the creative connection that you feel to the divine. The whispers speak through your creative connection, allowing you to express beauty that is within you and connect you to the love that is around you. Okay, your affirmation is creativity is my birthright. As I express my creativity, I feel a beautiful flow of love and connection. Okay, so Libra, this is your reading. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And now if this reading doesn't resonate all the way, feel free to take a look at your uh, sun, moon, and rising, your Venus sign. Uh, I have them in your March playlist, so they're easy to find. So take a look at those. And um, until your next reading, Libra, many blessings to you. Love and Light.